If you are a Spring Boot developer and still stuck with Tomcat, it's time to upgrade because Tomcat might be blocking your application. Imagine a situation where you deployed your web application inside a Tomcat server. And inside that Tomcat server, only one server thread exists. Now, why do we need this server thread? A server thread is responsible to process any user request. Imagine a situation, a user request is incoming and this only left server thread has been assigned to this particular user request. Now this server thread is entirely responsible to serve this request, process the data and give the response back to the user. So we call this kind of model as thread per request model. But think if a user request is coming and now the user is asking some heavy lifting data from the database. So until and unless the data will be fetched from the DV and will be served back to the user, this thread which is handling that particular request is going to be blocked. And that's why we call server like Tomcat a blocking server. The problem with this approach is in the same time, if there is a, another user request is coming, we do not have any server thread left to process the incoming user request. So if you're expecting a heavy traffic to your website, then better to deploy it on a non-blocking server like Netty. And don't worry, Spring Boot has an alternative called the Spring Web Flux module where a non-blocking server like Netty comes free. So how does the Netty help server here? Imagine there is an incoming request to our server and our only server thread handles this, but this request needs a bit of data. So it's connected to the database and the DB here is taking a bit of time to face the data. But by the meantime, there is a, another request coming from another user. So rather than doing nothing and keep waiting for the response from the DV over here, the server thread here choose to handle the other incoming request. That's interesting, isn't it? The response has not been sent back to the first user yet, but the same thread is being assigned to process another request. And let's say if this request even takes a bit of time and in the same time, another request is hitting our server and the same thread right now can go ahead and can handle that request as well. That's what we call a non-blocking behavior. The thread is not right now blocked by the incoming HTTP request till the entire request and response cycle. Here using one thread, we can serve many requests and that's performance. And that's the non-blocking behavior. And that's why you need to learn the Spring Web Flux. And if you want to learn it for free, check my free YouTube tutorials on Spring Web Flux.